And for something really, really jolly, come on up, Pastor Ryan. <laughs> I know, I've been wanting to share this all day. Okay, so something very exciting happened yesterday. Salt House made her first distribution from our reparations fund. And it was just pure joy. Yeah, you can clap for that, yes. It was pure joy uh, talking to the, recip the recipients on the phone. Oh my gosh, their stories are amazing. Um, like, I'm graduating from Lake Washington Tech, and I'm the first in my family to go to college. I'm starting a t-shirt company. This will help me get up and running. My partner and I are living in our vehicle right now. She's gonna have our baby in a month from now. This will be a deposit on an apartment. So we drew seven names in a randomized lottery system to distribute uh, $3,500 to individuals in our community of African descent. Why? Let me jump back for just a minute here, okay? The last public Salt House event, I think this is true, before lockdown was to put together a diverse panel and host a night called How to Talk to Your Kids About Race. Do you remember that? That seemed like, yeah, at least. Okay, so during the pandemic, then we gave out the book Stamped in our Advent Cozy Kit. We had three small groups that read My Grandmother's Hands and a group of us went through Jamar Tisby's videos and workbook, The Color of Compromise. Out of this learning, our community grew in its awareness of our complicity in America's long history of racism. And we did not want our knowledge to just remain abstract and never translate into confession and repair with the individuals who face negative consequences of racism every day. So Jesus shows us, right, that love is a verb. So one of the most daring actions we took was to form a Salt House Reparations Fund, led by a team made up of 50% BIPOC individuals. And this leadership was, uh, has included Eric and Dietra from Sophia Way, Andrew from New Beth, Angela, Jim, and Molly from Salt House. I mean, all these people deserve a round of applause. They've done fantastic work on behalf of this community. And then you all, the congregation, made this reparations work a place where you wanted your hearts to leap. And we committed a percentage of our annual benevolence to this fund. And individuals in our community and elsewhere are contributing to it. Um, other congregations even heard about what we are doing. At least three churches, one synagogue, and one synod have gained inspiration from what this little church in Kirkland is up to because we said yes to God's action, to being in the words of the prophet Isaiah, repairers of the breach. So this is just one small step, everybody, but I think it is just worthy of like great joy and celebration today. And the next Salt House Reparations Fund Lottery will take place on Juneteenth this summer, and we hope that it will double in size. So just know that when you give to Salt House, you're giving to anti-racism work in our community. Yeah? Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Woo! Good work.